our goal is to, uh, to raise a bountiful crop and then we'll sell it and then we donate the proceeds to the Canadian Food Grains Bank. We're hoping to raise uh, $80,000 on our 150 acres of canola that we're growing this year. And uh, so that's all eligible for up to four to one matching grants from the Canadian government. So uh, we feel we can make a significant impact this year in alleviating uh, hunger around the world. The Canadian Food Grains Bank is an organization that's been going for 34 years. And uh, it's uh, an organization made up of 15 different churches and church-based relief agencies working together with Canadians to end hunger in our world. Money is raised here in Canada by Canadians working together through a number of different uh, fundraisers, one of them being the Growing Projects, like we're uh, witnessing here today in Fort Saskatchewan. Money is raised, the Canadian government also matches uh, with a $25 million grant, so they put in $25 million a year. And then in the developing world, we work to end hunger in three different ways. We provide food assistance, we help people to grow more and better food so they can be uh, self-sustaining. And then we do work around nutrition, helping uh, people to learn more about nutrition and what it uh, takes to lead a healthy lifestyle. I think the farmers that are involved are uh, of the same mind to make sure that uh, we, you know, we know there's poor and needy out there and it's a Christian response to help those that are poor and needy. Uh, the Bible says that there will be always poor and needy and uh, it's, uh, it's a great honor to help, but we also know that it is uh, God that provides all this for us, and we, we uh, give uh, thanks for that, and it's actually a good time to do this at Thanksgiving. All the uh, inputs, including the, the piece of land that we have, is uh, donated. Uh, we don't put any money into it. We put in sweat. If you, if you call uh, sweat sitting in an air-conditioned combine, uh, and, and uh, tractors, but uh, we put in all the work. Well, it's inspiring. I always say I have a great job because I work with generous people and we see it time and time again. You know, groups of people, communities coming together, even when they have their own crops still out in the field to make the growing project happen and the harvest happen so that others can have something to eat.